friends welcome to belki's channel from today i am going to start about this classes so please subscribe and hit the bell icon for regular updates abacus is a quick way used to solve arithmetic problems such as addition subtraction multiplication and division the different advantages of abacus are it improves our visualization listening skills mathematical skills creativity concentration etc it is also very useful in competitive exams such as iit and jee to solve math problems very quickly i have acquired this knowledge with the blessings of meera ma'am and prerna ma'am so let's start this tool is necessary to do abacus you can purchase this tool online this tool is called as the abacus scale or the abacus so first let's learn the parts of the abacus the border of the abacus is called the frame of the abacus the line which divides these beads is known as the divider all the beads which are about the divider are called as upper beads and all the beads which are below the divider are known as lower beads the stick in which these beads are placed are known as rods this point the center white color point is called as the unit point of the abacus there are totally 13 rods and 65 beads on this abacus so now let's learn how to represent numbers on the abacus so first this the center rod is called as the unit's rod this rod is the ones place rod all the ones place digits are represented on this rod all the tens place digits are represented on this rod hundreds place digits are represented on this rod and so on all the rods to the right of the center rod are representing decimals for example if i keep one over here one bead up it represents the number 1 if there are two beads up it represents number 2 if there are three beads up it represents number 3 if there are four beads up it represents number 4 if we move the upper bead down it's actually not 5 only the upper bead should be down for 5 if all are there it's not considered as 5 this is 5 This is six. This is seven. This is eight, and this is nine. Now let's represent tens digits. If two beats are up in the tens rod, it represents twenty. And now if we move three more beats up from the units rod, it becomes twenty-three because there are two beats. on the tens rod and three beads on the ones rod now if i move this both beads down and move this bead up it represents 50 and now the number is 53 if i move this down it will be 50 now let's go to the hundreds rod if two beads are up it represents 200 Right now, this represents two not seven, as the upper beat represents five, and two beats from here represent two. Both become seven. So the total here on the units rod is seven right now. The number is two not seven, because there are two beats in the hundreds rod, zero beats in the tens rod, and one upper beat and two lower beats in the ones rod, which represents seven, and the number two not seven. Like that, we can represent. numbers on the abacus if we want to represent decimals for example 0.3 we have to keep zero which means do nothing in the unit rod and three beats to the exact right of the unit rod this represents 0.3 and not 3 actually this represents 0.34 if i add the five beat or the upper beat in the unit rod it represents 5.34 in this manner we can represent decimals 
in the abacus scale. Now let's do some basic additions and subtractions on this abacus tool. First let's try 1 plus 2. For that we have to move one bead from the unit slot towards the up and now we have to add two more. So two more beads. Now if we read the number on the abacus scale it is 3 because 3 beads are up. Now let's try another example. 2 plus 2. So 2 beads up and then 2 more beads up. So this is 2 plus 2, 4. Now let's try with the upper bead also. If we have 3 plus 5, first 3 beads up from the unit slot and then 5 more beads. It's not actually 5 more beads, but the upper bead. Now, if we read the number on the abacus scale, it is 5, 6, 7 and 8. We have to count only the upper bead as 5. This is not 5. Now, this number is 8. Now, let's try 7 plus 2. First 7, so 5, 6 and 7 plus 2. So 1 and 2. Now this represents 9. Now let's do some additions including the 10th rod. Let's try 32 plus 15. So first we have to represent 32 on the abacus scale. For that we have to move 3 beads up from the 10th rod and 2 beads up from the unit rod. This represents 32. Now we have to add 15 more. So 1 from the 10th rod and the upper bead which represents 5 from the unit rod. Now 4 and 5, 6, 7, 4, 7, 47. So we got 47 as our answer for 32 plus 15. Let's try another example. 52 plus 21. So, 5 on the 10th rod and 2 on the 1th rod. And plus 21. So, plus 20 means 2 beads from the 10th rod and 1 bead from the unit's rod. Now, 5, 6, 7 on the 10th rod and 1, 2, 3 on the 1th rod, which represents 73. So we got our answer as 73. Now let's move on to subtractions. Some of the basic subtractions. First let's try 2 minus 1. We all know that subtraction is removing or taking away. So first we have to represent the first number which is 2 and take away 1 bead. Now we can see that there is only 1 bead up in the unit rod which represents the number 1. Let's try another example. 8 minus 2. So first 5, 6, 7, 8. And now we have to take away 2. Now 1 bead from the upper line and 1 bead from the lower line in the unit sort. So 5, 6. So the answer is 6. Now let's try 7 minus 5. So first 7 and we have to remove 5. Take away 5. For that we have to remove the bead only from the upper place. We have to remove only the upper bead. Now we can see that 2 beads are up from the lower beads. This represents 2. So we got 7 minus 5 as 2. Let's try an example including the tenth rod. Let's try 73 minus 22. First, 7 and 3, which represents 73. And now we have to take away 21, which means we have to take away 2 beads from the tenth rod and 1 bead from the 1's rod. Now, 5 is in the tenth rod and 2 is in the 1's rod, which represents 52. 
In this manner, we can do basic additions and subtractions using the abacus scale. You can practice these basic additions and subtractions on your abacus scale. Bye friends. Let's meet in the next video with a new concept. Thank you for watching.